What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.7 beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. And this comes exactly two weeks after the first beta was released by surprise back on May 19th before iOS 14.6 even got released to the public. But anyways, in addition to iOS, we also got iPadOS 14.7 beta 2, watchOS 7.6 beta 2, macOS Big Sur 11.5 beta 2, tvOS 14.7 beta 2, and also a new HomePod update as well, 14.7 beta 2. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and what has changed since the first beta and since iOS 14.6. So let's start off by looking at the size of this update. And you can see here, it came in just about 317 megabytes on my iPhone 12. And that size was about the same across the board on all devices, very small coming from the first beta of 14.7. Now, if we go ahead and check out the build number for this update settings, general about 14.7, we can see the build number there is 18G5033E. So we went from a C to an E at the end of the build number there, which is pretty interesting. And if we go down to the modem firmware, you can see that has also been updated here, thankfully, which I'll tell you why that's thankfully here in a minute, but it's now 1.80.00 on the iPhone 12. So now what's new here in iOS 14.7 beta 2? And the first thing is a fix to the HomePod timer text. So if we go into the home application and go to a HomePod, and we scroll down a little bit right here, you will see that we have timers. So in beta one, let me pull up what it showed over there because it was definitely not meant to be seen by us. So you can see the difference there on 14.7 beta one over here on the left. We had that you know placeholder text right there, but now it has been fixed. And also when we tap on new timer right there, you can see up here it's fixed. And also the numbers are not overlapping anymore here in beta two. So just overall, the timer for the HomePod has now been fixed, which by the way, the timer is a new feature here in 14.7 as well that was not there before you would just have to ask siri to set a timer for you another thing i noticed in beta 2 is that these shortcuts run even faster than they did on 14.6 and 14.7 beta 1. so it's not as big of a difference as it was in 14.6 and 14.7 beta 1 compared to previous versions because there was a massive improvement in you know shortcuts and how fast they run i talked about that in my follow-up video over the weekend and I showed like a comparison to 14.5.1. So there was a big difference, you know, in 14.6, but now in beta two of 14.7, it seems like they're getting even faster and more efficient at running. So that is a good sign for the shortcuts app. And I'm assuming that iOS 15 will build even further on the shortcuts app. We also just recently got updates to the iWork applications. So pages, numbers, and Keynote all got pretty big updates with version 11.1 .1 yesterday. So of course, this is not exclusive to iOS 14.7 beta 2, but this is something new from Apple. And you can see there are a few changes here in something like numbers. So it says link to web pages, email addresses, and phone numbers from objects such as shapes, lines, images, drawings, or text boxes. And then also teachers using the schoolwork app to assign activities and numbers can now view student progress, including word count and time spent. And then finally, support for collaborating on forms and shared spreadsheets. And if you go to the change log for pages, you will see the exact same thing right there and the same for Keynote. So the iWork applications continue getting improvements over time, which is nice because I personally use numbers all the time. Another very interesting thing I wanted to mention is that Apple actually mentioned Home OS for the first time in a recent job listing. So they mentioned home OS as a quote mobile platform. So maybe at WWDC, we will see what this is all about. This could be the home pod with a screen rumor that we've heard for quite a while now for the past couple of months, we've heard that a new home pod with a screen built in similar to like what Amazon is doing. You know, we might see something like that. So maybe this has something to do with that, or maybe it's just a rebranding of home kit. We'll have to wait and see, but it was interesting that Apple mentioned that for the very first time ever. And then after news broke that this was, you know, kind of out there, Apple changed it back to like home pod OS instead of home OS. So we'll have to wait and see, but very interesting that that has leaked ahead of 
WWDC. But I haven't really found anything else new here in beta two that was not there in beta one. So Apple doesn't really tell us anything in the release notes. It literally says like there's nothing new in this update. It's mainly just bug fixes on the back end. So really nothing going on on the front end for 14.7, just some minor changes. And of course the HomePod timer right there. However, we have had quite a few bugs with 14.7 beta one and hopefully, you know, 14.7 beta two and future versions and eventually the final will fix up some of these bugs and some even started with 14.6 and the main one was battery drain. And I've talked about this quite a bit, but a lot of people on the Apple forums and forums in general, you know, more than usual have been complaining about the battery life of 14.6. And I'm still a believer in the fact that the software doesn't really make your battery life bad at this point, you know, as a 0.6 update, I find it very hard to believe that, you know, it could really impact your battery like that. But a lot of people are complaining about that. So hopefully 14.7 will fix that. If you were having the battery drain, I would like you to go on to 14.7 beta and test it out to see if your battery life is better and then also i've seen a lot of reports of bad connectivity cell connectivity on 14.7 beta 1 and this is actually one that i can relate to because i have had issues with connectivity on 14.7 beta 1 specifically going from wi-fi to cellular just randomly like sometimes i'll be browsing the internet sometimes i'll be on a facetime call you know it doesn't matter sometimes it just switches from wi-fi to LTE and back and causes like an interruption in what I was doing for really no reason. And I know it's not my router because that did not happen on any previous version or on any other device that I have. So hopefully beta two fixes the connectivity issues and also the battery life issues if you were having those. Now other bugs include of course, inside of music, we have the issue with the music cue right here where the first song sometimes cannot be moved. I will be testing that. Also the AirPlay to HomePod feature has been extremely buggy on every version since like iOS 14.4. So I will be testing that out to see if it's been fixed as well. But first impressions, I did try it and it doesn't seem that much better than beta one, but I'll often do it more long-term and let you guys know if that has improved at all here in beta two. Also, a lot of people have been reporting green tint has gotten better ever since iOS 14.6. So they say it's not fully gone, but it could be improved with 14.7 beta two. And again, I do not have a device with green tint or any kind of display issue. So I cannot personally test these. So let me know down in the comment below if you have any issues and if they have been resolved here in 14.7. Now, as far as the performance goes here on beta two, it feels about the same as beta one to me, but for whatever reason, it doesn't feel quite as snappy as it did right once I installed beta one on my device. So I'm not sure if that's just placebo or if I'm just not, you know, expecting a big change. I'm not sure. But if you go into the Geekbench scores here, you could see I scored a 1591 on the single core and a 4086 on the multi core. So those are pretty solid results, but you can see here compared to beta one, it was slightly lower on the single core, but it was higher by a good amount on the multi core right there. So maybe it's because the performance is just better when it comes to gaming and things like that here on beta two. I'm not sure. Of course, I will be testing out the performance and let you guys know if it's any different in my follow up update coming this weekend. Now, when it comes to the battery life, battery life on 14.7 beta one was about the same as 14.6 for me. I didn't have any of that battery drain or any issues with the battery life. Now, when it comes to beta two, I would expect it to be about the same as beta one, but of course it's too early to tell. I've just had this installed for, you know, an hour and a half now. So I will let you guys know if performance and battery life have improved, if they stayed the same, if they gotten worse, I will let you know in my follow-up update coming this weekend. So now what is next for Apple? So today is of course, June 2nd, and that means that next week on June 7th, is Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, where we will see iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and all of the other major software releases. We will see beta one on that day. So next week, it's probably unlikely to see 14.7 beta two. We could see that the following week on the week of the 14th. And if Apple sticks to exactly two weeks, it could be June 16th on that Wednesday right there. But honestly, this is probably going to be the last beta of iOS 14 for most of you guys. Most of you guys are gonna switch over to iOS 15 after that, and you won't even care about 14.7 betas anymore. So really, we're gonna start focusing on iOS 15 starting next week. And I will still cover the iOS 14 betas, but the main focus of the channel is of course going to be on iOS and iPadOS 15. And if you guys have anything you would like to see on iOS 15 before June 7th, let me know in a comment down below, maybe a final recap of what to expect, you know, leaks and rumors and things like that. 
let me know in a comment. Also, I will be live streaming on that day on Monday, June 7th. So make sure you guys are tuned into the channel. I will be live streaming a couple of hours before the event starts and I will be live streaming through the entire thing and after as well, showing you guys all the new features and things like that. It's always a good time. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 14.7 beta two, not a ton to talk about. And of course, most of you guys are excited for iOS 15 at this point. So you're probably just ready to get, you know, these iOS 14 betas out of here and get on to iOS 15. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe for a lot more content, including all of that iOS 15 content coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.